while I'm on a, I'm gonna go on a soapbox for a second. If y'all just will hang tight. I think a lot of people are always about, whoa, what's the top speed? How fast did it go? What's the, you know, how fast can it go? Yeah, I mean, sure, just depending on gearing and I have, if I have an infinite amount of space, I can make that thing go hundred miles an hour. I'm not interested in going hundred miles an hour. I'm interested in going very fast in a very short distance. Enough blabbing, let's go ride. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. In this video, we're gonna go over this QS165 build. I got a half mile straightaway behind me. If you can see that there, this is the Voltron Watts testing ground. And in this video, we're gonna test this QS165 build that I put together. It's a version two motor, 420 chain, 240 amp continuous, 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery. And it's a far driver, 96660. The tune that I have on this bike is just a basic tune. I haven't gone through and refined anything really. In the next video, in next week's video, I'm gonna show you how to pair up your components, how to self-learn. And I'm also gonna show you the basics of what a base tune should look like for your bike. And then from there in future videos, we'll go into narrowing it down to adjust the parameters for a specific type of performance that you're looking for. In this video, I haven't ridden this thing really a whole lot. I just got it running yesterday. It doesn't even have a back brake. The plastics are just sitting on here. This is not gonna be a all in balls deep review or speed test of this bike. This is just kind of getting my feet wet. I wanna make sure everything works. I wanna make sure that it's just not gonna lock up on me as I'm riding. So just kind of working through the kinks and troubleshooting the things that I come across as we ride. So let's put the GoPro on, let's put the speedometer on, let's see how fast we can go, let's see what we get. One thing I'll say guys is in this video, the speeds are recorded just on my phone via GPS app, speedometer app or whatever. I'll put a picture of it here if you guys want to try it out. I will say I am taking this fast drag racing type thing a little bit more seriously. I did buy a draggy just for more accurate times. And when I'm showing the community times or I am bragging about a time, maybe, I don't know, that it's more solidified in the information that, that I'm providing to you guys, if that makes sense. A couple of things that I want to know is I want to know what my zero to 30 mile per hour time is. I want to know what my 330 foot speed and time is. And I also want to know what my eight mile speed and time are. So that's one reason why I'm getting the draggy and just, it's just the benchmark for measuring speed and distance in a setting like this. In the upcoming videos will be a draggy with information on the screen to show you guys exactly what we're getting. So in the first rip, we got 60 miles an hour. The second rip, I got 67 miles per hour. The differences in speed there, I'm not sure. I did let it go a little bit longer, let that gearing catch up for the longer run. So it probably captured a couple more miles per hour there. One thing on this controller though, like I said, it's, it's set at a base tune. And I know for a fact that I have a lot of room in my controller to turn up the phase amps to the motor. The point of this video series is learning how to manipulate the settings in the controller, what they do to give you an outcome. All right, so what I mean by that is if you're riding dirt, you want torque, you want low end torque, how you want your throttle to feel when you give it the throttle. Do you want it to be slow and gradual? Do you want it to be torquey right now, instant power, you know, run from the cops type power? So in this series, that's what we're going to do. The, this was just kind of a starting point for you guys. So you guys get an idea of what the bike is set now. And as I progress in my learning through the Far Driver app, I'm going to share that with you guys so that you guys can apply that to your bikes, your controllers. You can gain some knowledge on, oh, I have a 48 volt battery or I have a 60 volt battery or I have this motor. How do phase amps relate to battery amps? You know, the different things that the community as a whole, we're all just kind of getting into, I think. 
So I hope that this video series and the information that's gonna come forward in this video here to helps you guys make better decisions, makes you guys better tuners, makes you guys happier in the end. Cause that's what this is all about, right? Having fun, doing cool shit, talking to your buddies about it, and going fast on small bikes. But anyway, if you found any of this content useful, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and it helps the channel tremendously. Thanks guys.